So today's session is on leveraging Jharkhand's immense potential on the edible forest produce that is available for the country, which is India, and for the world. And to discuss on the topic, I am uh, glad to have eminent speakers and panelists uh, with me who are experts and renowned in their respective areas in terms of the work that they are doing in the, the state of Jharkhand. Uh, so, I will just uh, invite the panelists uh, in alphabetic order. In order. Uh, so, first of all, I would like to invite Sri Abu Bakar Sileki Saab, who is an IS officer. He is Secretary, Department of Agriculture, Animal Husbandry and Cooperative Government of Jharkhand. You can join us. So, so Sri Sileki is a senior IS officer who has handled various reputed positions for the Government of Jharkhand. As Secretary, Agriculture and Cooperation, and animal husbandry in Jharkhand. Currently, he is handling all the agriculture and allied sectors initiatives, including fisheries, dairies, uh, the other cooperative initiatives that are running in the states. And he is responsible for sector uh, related initiatives, policy formulation, and implementation in the state. Welcome, sir. Uh, we'd like to have you with us. Uh, next, I would like to invite Sri Jitendra Kumar Singh, sir, uh, IS officer, who is Secretary, Department of Industries, Government of Jharkhand. Uh, uh, Sri Jitendra Kumar Singh uh, looks after industrial development and, just, uh, and industrial investments in Jharkhand. Uh, he has played a key role in creating a, a conducive climate for investment in the state of Jharkhand. And he has been instrumental in formulating as well as implementing policies such as industrial and investment policy, electrical vehicle policy, export policy and other policies that are even in the draft stage that we will be discussing as part of today's uh, program. So, welcome sir. Uh, next, I would like to invite Sri N.K. Singh sir, uh, who is an IFS, sir, IFS officer, additional principal chief conservator of forest uh, development, Jharkhand. Uh, Sri N.K. Singh uh, ji has handled the key positions of conservators of forest in Jharkhand. He is also the MD of the uh, federation that is a uh, corporation that is responsible for the forest reservation. At present, he is handling all the matters related to forest resources, minor forest produce. He again is a, uh, 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 has a command on the minor forest produce that are available and how there are various uses that are possible and how the, uh, the, uh, the people who live in and around forest can be benefited from it. Uh, welcome sir. Uh, next I would like to invite Dr. M.S. Malik who is the Dean for Forestry Department, Birsa Agriculture University, Ranchi. Uh, as, un as University Professor cum Chief Scientist at Birsa Agriculture University, Ranchi. He is managing and taking charge of various departments under faculty of forestry, namely forest product, products and utilization, forest resources and management, uh, silviculture and agroforestry. So, uh, welcome sir. We also today have with us uh, Sri Sanjeev Arora, uh, who is basically focused on, uh, he is an entrepreneur and exporter of uh, uh, MFPs. Uh, is he Okay, so I think Mr. Rora would be just joining us. Uh, I think he must be on his way. So he has successfully uh, established his own export company, which is called Sai Agro Exim, and which is specialized in connecting businesses with international markets. He is an entrepreneur and exporter of minor forest produce to countries in Europe, UAE, etc. So with this, uh, uh, with the welcome uh, of all the speakers, I would like to just uh, set the context for today's discussion. So as I mentioned, today's discussion is focused on. Uh, the minor forest produce. So these are non-timber produce that are available in plenty in the state of Jharkhand. Jharkhand, as you know, is a state which uh, which has a large forest cover. So it's around 29% forest. The land total land that is there in Jharkhand, 29% is in the forest area. If you have to draw a parallel for the country, the average is 23%. Uh, from a uh, uh, from a contribution to the to total forest land of the country, Jharkhand contributes around 3.4% of the total land. It ranks 10th in the uh, overall uh, in terms of the uh, area that is under the forest cover. Uh, the non-forest, uh, the non-timber forest produce, uh, which are also a large part of it is edible. So there are 5,000 of such produce that are generally uh, available and are used. According to a study, uh, out of the total value that is available in the forest, more than around 95% is actually non-timber produce, which is available. So that means it has immense potential. Jharkhand, as you know, is also a state where uh, there is a lot of tribal population that resides. Uh, around 8 out of 10 uh, uh, tribal people in Jharkhand are either living 
in the forest or in the proximity of forest. So they are in some way connected with the forest. Uh, around two million tribals are actually in some way, you know, dependent on the, you know, the, for their economic welfare on the forest land that is there. In terms of the uh, many produce that are available in the state of Jharkhand and it's blessed with the nature's uh, 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 in terms of what all uh, is available. So there are uh, things around mahua, chironji, honey, uh, tamarind. There are many other uh, apple custard and many other produce that are available as an FP. So there is immense potential in terms of availability of these produce and these are natural. These are we talk about organic, so natural is even one step you know, above in the value chain. So if, uh, if, if we talk about the global demand, the natural produce comes the first, then comes the organic and then comes the other, other part. So we have an advantage as a state of having this uh, natural and these are basically not something where the uh, tribal uh, population has done any intervention in terms of changing the package of practices. So these are basically being collected from the, uh, uh, from the uh, uh, forest and being and being utilized by them. As of now, the value addition is a constraint. So that's what we will be discussing as part of today's presentation. And I'll invite uh, uh, our eminent speakers one by one to discuss on this topic. So, uh, so I'll go first uh, with an invitation to uh, Sri Abu Bakar Siddiqui, sir. Uh, I think, sir, uh, we can have our discussion sitting here also. Uh, or as you would like, if you would like to use the desk. So, uh, 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 Sri Siddiqui sir will discuss on the production potential and procurement structure of key micro uh, 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 MFPs that are available in Jharkhand. Good afternoon, Jahar, respected coordinator of the session, Mr. Rajiv. Respected colleague, Jitendra, Sri Krishna Saab, and Dean BAU, Professor Malik, and all other dignitaries available here. As it is already <coughs> explained, this session with a special focus on leveraging potential of minor forest producers in Jharkhand. We will be discussing various topics. We all know, if we talk in the perspective of the nation, our country, India is known for its diverse socio, agricultural, geographical and flora and fauna. All kind of diversity we celebrate. This country is known for its diversity. And Jharkhand is also has a lot of diversity. You may be already aware, huge coverage of forest, almost 30% forest coverage. 24 lakh hectare and most interestingly nowadays every city is worried about uh, disappearing forest cover but in Jharkhand the data says forest cover has been increasing so kudos to the forest department especially for the state so and if you see the culture of Jharkhand the tribal community especially in Jharkhand they are living with the forest the forest a means of livelihood for them throughout the ages. They, have, they are in the forest, they have been communicating with the forest, their livelihood has been very much connected with the forest places. So now the task, the challenge for us, how that MFP can be embraced to bring them more economic prosperity, to connect them to the better market and how to enhance the area of production and also to qualify it to quality, qualitatively improve the production by kind of packaging, grading, etc. So all these points will be covered during this discussion. And if you see the Jharkhand, the variety of forest producers, we have almost 13-14 listed product, uh, producers, Chirunji, Tamrid, Mahua, Karans, Sarseed, Wild Honey, Chirota, Bale, Coronda, jackfruit, jamun, and all kind of varieties of producers we are having in the state. And besides this, there are a lot of herbal and medicinal plants also available in the state. We you know, once became the world became more global, economic <coughs> transactions are happening beyond borders, and a lot of demand is coming from the globally. 
For are we able to tap this international market? Are we able to give the benefit of economic globalization to the poor farmers? Poor tribal community? That is a big question we are asking for. So maybe this kind of discussion can bring out some kind of idea how it can be improved. And you also may be aware the government of India project, one district, one product. They are also Chiranji, Jack Truth, Beer, etc. have been identified as specific products for certain districts in the state. And some rough estimate, but there is no very highly surveyed estimate, but still, as per some rough estimate, it is said that almost 400 crore worth of trade is happening in the MFP sector in the state. But the potential is even beyond 1000 crore per worth. So if we really work on the MFP sector in the state, the business on them can be even more than 1000 crore. And you know, uh, whenever we talk about MFP, uh, not much effort for production assets, it is naturally grown, but still some kind of support can be given for the production part, <coughs> then aggregation, uh, storage, and maybe some kind of saving, sorting, reduction, etc. and to bring into the major market. As of now, mainly there is a kind of middleman controlled market. That is why many often the real producers are not getting the real market, the real market value. Rather, the middleman is getting benefit of the market value. Various products are going from Jakarta to various places. For example, Tamarind is mainly going to the Telangana and the Pradesh area. The Shiranji, etc. is going for Uttar Pradesh, etc. So, most of the time, you can see when we were collecting in the Chai, Chai, district like Chaibasa, in the season, you can see all kind of middlemen coming to the uh, illegal forest areas and they are bargaining and they are kind of most of these farm, uh, rival farmers are hand to mouth people, so they are forced to sell. Even they take money in advance and they are forced to sell to them. Sometimes you said barter system happens, you give some amount of time and you get some amount of travel back, rice back. This kind of system also happens. So there is a scope for a kind of institutional intervention. So we know we have already one system of PAX lamps at the lower level. PAX lamps collects this kind of producers and they enable them to kind of marketing. And in Jharkhand, if you see last pack, after last last batch, there was no system. We had an institution called Vegfed for vegetable items. We have another institution called Jamkofed for uh, manual loose products, products other than lamp, lab. And we have another one, Jasko lamp, that is for mainly for lab and lab processing, etc. But the state government felt there is a gap. As a result, after this government formed, we have constituted a new corporation, Sikofet. Sikofetanu uh, Federation. One Sikofet Federation at the state level and also at the district level. At the district level, uh, district collector, district divisional forest officer and cooperative members of the cooperative society, everybody is part of it. And the idea is to bridge this gap. Tax collects, then it is aggregated to the district level through Sikofet District Federation, then from there to State Federation, and State Federation can help them to export even for to finding out other markets in the country, across the country. So this structure has been put in place and government is also supporting. The idea of Sikofet is to have a kind of or a cooperative body with 1000 crore worth. So we hope in the coming years, Jack may be kind of taking a lead in terms of collection as well as processing and uh, transporting these kind of items and organic producers also. Jharkhand by nature is organic. You know, if you see the national average of per capita use, utilization of fertilizers, Jharkhand is one of the lowest of the spectrum. That means Jharkhand has a natural uh, benefit of being organic. And I am planning, the, we have an authority called Organic Farming Authority of Jharkhand. So that organic authority, we are planning how to uh, label this organic producer. For example, tamarind. I don't think, any, none of you may be seen, anybody is putting any fertilizer for tamarind. So that is naturally grown and it is taken out. So all these producers can be labeled as organic, then the price can be jumped to multiple times. So very often, 
the concept now we do organic farming and certification etc but naturally grown producers can be certified as organic producers so that they can get the better market that also we are working on and other than this government mechanism uh, state government mechanism we have this ndp intervention safar is also working in the state and we have other corporations like milkfed etc they are also supporting the farmers and you also may be aware there is a idea called ena this electronic uh, market happening so all the mandis mandis are uh, electrically connected and uh, trade is happening beyond the states uh, even the people at the village level at the state level district level they are trading with the farmers in uttar pradesh farmers in jammu kashmir etc to ena and uh, jharkhand got the award in one of the uh, 10 Best performing uh, state in the ENA. So what I was just mentioning, if you focus on this sector, there is a huge potential. Other than the agricultural department, forest department, rifle also working on this sector. Our J S C is there to government uh, with us developed department, state livelihood mission. So uh, we must understand this sector as a uh, economic area for lot of families are dependent on. So livelihood for many families can be ensured if you support this sector. And the most interesting, I just want to mention here, Jharkhand will be one state in the country as of now. We declare, we notify through a cabinet resolution, lack as a agricultural life. Otherwise, there was no support for the lack cultivation. Some schemes were given from the tribal welfare department, etc. But now, last three four months back. Lab cultivation has been uh, declared as a agricultural activity, so that they can take all kinds of benefit the agricultural scheme, whether it is irrigation related, whether it is uh, this crop subsidy or crop uh, KCC type items. All this support can be given to lab farmers as well, because lab, the Arkan is the leading lab producers in the country, and lab has lot of potential. Okay, all kind of beauty items, uh, this bangles etc. are made up of lab. So we are uh, focusing that sector as well. So the challenge is developing a kind of robust uh, supply chain management system. So we should have a robust mechanism to uh, uh, seasonally find out the market, how much produces is being produced and how it can be aggregated and how it can be connected to a international or national market. That is the main challenge. So we are working on it. I think this kind of discussion can also give ideas how this uh, supply chain can be strengthened so that that can, can lead this MMP sector. I will stop here with this introductory ideas. If some questions comes, you can address it. Thank you. I think it was uh, interesting to note that the forest area in Jharkhand is actually not producing its ingredient. And the lack that uh, uh, Sri Sadiqi sir highlighted is actually Jharkhand is contributing 50% or more than 50% of the country's production. And it's also good to note that the, there is a PACS to district federation to state federation kind of structure being you know, worked upon, and that should help uh, the farmers or the tribal uh, uh, collectors there in the state. So uh, I think uh, we will take leverage of the other speakers as well in terms of their view on the subject. So I, as a next step, I would uh, invite Dr. M.S. Malik, uh, who is the Dean of Forestry Department, Vesa Agriculture University. Uh, he carries good technical understanding as well of the benefits of the, uh, of the MFPs that have grown in the state. So nutritional, medicinal benefits and value added products from key MFPs is the topic that's our this Thank you. Thank you. Respected Dr. Anu Bakar Siddiqui Sir, Dr. Nitendra Kumar Shinji, Dr. C. N. K. C. and uh, Raji Vadora, Sanjeev Vadora. In fact, uh, Dr. Siddi, uh, Mr. Siddiqui has mentioned about all the things about the minor forest produce, about the Jharkha, which uh, what are the Green minor forest produce in Jharkhand. Here now it's new name as NTFP, non forest produce. And uh, Jharkhand, since a tribal area, 
and having so many tribal community, in particular who Urao and others, they are only dependent on the forest area and they have used to collect the forest uh, produce, in a manner forest produce. And the main thing on this uh, issue, uh, they have uh, chironjis, they have the bale, deer, then uh, glass, beam also having a very good national level internationally. So these are the things are very important and the rural people or tribal people are very much associated with the MFP, minor forest produce. Even if we take about the tenduli, which is a, but its fruits they use as a edible food. Then they have a bay in uh, Aula, they have ascorbic acid. In certain uh, uh, medicinal plants having uh, this uh, different uh, nutritional values. So we have to think about this uh, and we are doing research also on that aspect where we and how to collect, how to preserve, how to increase the uh, this uh, uh, lifespan also and how to protect them. These are the things we are very much interested and we have also noticed that the farmers or the tribal people both uh, in Harkon they are using their uh, local products from the forest. They are also using about uh, this uh, this Moringa Olifera Sajan. Now it's a uh, well recognized. Its uh, tablets are in the market. Many value addition process about this. Even the rural areas in earlier days also this Moringa was there. But earlier did not notice about the value addition of this drug. So now in market also Himalaya and other drugs agency, they are collecting this uh, Sajan and promoting also about the sajan. Their leaves are very useful, their fruits are very useful, uh, their flowers are very useful and one way or other way it helps them. In tribal areas of uh, Dharka, they are mostly treating themselves. The old people knows many things uh, but they are not aware about how these things but they are treating as a haddo. They are treating for as uh, fractures in the uh, bone they used to collect. There is a sarbuganda they are using, we are using corrosin and all these things, they are using such type of things. So they have a very much uh, knowledge of these things. So we have to think what type of uh, ingredients are available there. Duleo, during this uh, corona period, the market has been like anything. So we have to think which portion is more important, sector from the Duleo. We have a university, we have a Duleo processing unit, sir R.K. Babai. RKVY through we have a, uh, that uh, unit and we are uh, producing also in the form of tablet and uh, we have already applied to the industry department for license and further history. So see that how this is very important in the crucial time of this uh, corona. So only the stems, yes, maua, these flowers they are using. The value addition of uh, the different items there, even tamarinds it's are used beside these things, they are these chocolates and all these things are some medicinal plants have these carbonate, vitamins, uh, proteins and all these things. So we have to think what way we have to use this one. They, like we have very uh, good, uh, the saad they are using. In the tribal area, if you see in the forest area, they are different types. Bag saad, sai saad, these are the things they are eating. And they are, but one thing we have noticed that if they are using more, they don't have an idea of how much quantity they are doing. If they are using putkalsa, they are using every day, it has some effect. So we have to think in that way, what are the things we have to think on that way. Neem, earlier the neem generally travels in the pulp they use. But after the uh, detection of these things, after the invention of this as a directive, that is a very important in. We have now the uh, processing unit in earlier the, all the seeds used to uh, unauthorized uh, to European countries and other, and they are uh, extracting the azadiractin. So that is the most important component for the treatment of the cancer. So see that how these are the things. People are we are using aloe vera directly from there. But we have through research we have found that there is one toxic substance there that has to be removed catalytic through catalytic processing with charcoal and then after refining if you use it will be not harmful. So that way we have to think about it and we are doing research on that uh, since this uh, even globally if we see that 25% of the for the world 
people are one way or other way associated with the forest and for better livelihoods, for income generations or on other things. But as our sir has mentioned earlier, the middleman plays very uh, role. They are not getting the real price. If they have collected the, some uh, medicinal plants, but they are not getting the good market. So that was a very challenging thing. I think uh, our organizations, government departments are thinking in that way or one way. As in the market uh, or Manji market area, we have seen that they are giving one water system. In place of rice, they are giving some medicinal plants. The value of that medicinal plant is much more than a cup of uh, this rice. So we have to think in that way also. And many uh, plants also having a different uh, things, which I like to mention here. This, uh, which is very important, this Sesbania grandiflora. It is a very important there. Because it has a tenny, it has a straw, and it is a very good, is uh, uh, good for the digestive systems. So these are the things which have we have noticed about this. We are also uh, this about the hibiscus. They have a good money. Yes, this having the hibiscus acid, that is the very flavonoids and all these things. The custard uh, apple in the forest area, we have noticed that custard. So the very good nutritive values, very good nutritive values there. We have uh, another uh, species <coughs> of Chirongi, it has their important. Even in the sal, sal butter having the market, very good market, and Jharkhan is dominated with the sal forest, a good quality sal forest in compared to Malaysia and other places. So now the thing is to trap the area where we can get the uh, product value addition to this product because the once the raw material there once they can add the value addition the uh, price will go to 10 to 15 times more these are the things one or uh, one thing industry departments are also uh, promoting about the processing because in the medicinal plant area we have to whether it should be sun dry whether it should have to be through this different place so that we can maintain their uh, nutritional values we can maintain their uh, things. So it's a different uh, manner for forest produce having different type of uh, ingredients there. And they are very good in the things. Only the things, research is much more needed in that sense to identify the which is the real components, ingredients can be used, extracted, and we can, it's a very good, even in this uh, glue throughout the world, in the papers, in the, uh, this research paper, we have seen that even in the US also, they have placed this uh, glue intervention in India. So they have also noticed about things that glue and their different of syrup is coming up, the tablet are coming up, they are also mixing these things there. So we have to think on that line. And one thing uh, more is needed, we have to develop, besides this forest area, we have to think about the nursery state how to promote the different uh, this uh, uh, minor forest produce, particular medicinal plants, because tribal peoples are not ready to share their knowledge in the of the medicinal plants, how these things are there. So it needs to identify further, and uh, we are also doing. We have in the forest <coughs> products and utilization, particular besides this, and we are also promoting these medicinal plants, particular ultimately to agroforestry activities also, so that uh, farmers can get uh, income from agroforestry products to medicinal plants and they can also uh, help in the conservation of trees, environmental point of view also, environmental preservation also. And that way I think uh, it will be much, much useful to them. So agroforestry intervention is needed in the uh, medicinal plants promotions there. And we have also a very good germ plug. We have noticed that what are the things uh, these tribal people are doing. Certain communities are having very good knowledge of uh, these medicinal plants and this particular Ho committee and uh, this Oram. So they have a very good knowledge of these medicinal plants there. And they have also shared that things. So we have to identify the needs, the nutritive values of different species besides this. Uh, how like they are Chirongi, they are Sarah and Shadabada, uh, Tamari. 
So here this tavern area we have, we have visited to different areas. The farmers are selling in a very low price during the season. They have not any processing meat here. They have no any idea to how to extract so that maximum this uh, uh, can be pulp can be extracted to this. We have also given some trainings about to the particular under the TSP program, tiber subplant area, to extract the pulp through the mechanized way so that they can exert. And this uh, market, and they have to think about the market. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Malik. I think uh, from a, uh, so earlier we heard uh, government's perspective from a department of agriculture perspective, what is being, what is, what are the things that are being done. Now we have heard from the academia in terms of you know different uh, uh, minor forest produce or non-timber forest produce that are available in the state of Jharkhand, and what are the medicinal benefits and other benefits that they have. Uh, we heard about many produce. I think uh, I just wrote it down a few of them. So tenduli, giloe. Mahua, we tambourine, various types of farms that are there around us. So many, many, many such forest produce that have immense health benefits as well as medicinal benefits. Uh, I uh, particularly noted the point that you mentioned that in the Urmanji area, there is a water system that the, the value of the medicinal plant that they are partnering with the other grain, they, are, they don't know what is the value, actual value. So they are partnering just with a, with a cup of rice. So that's, that shows that, you know, how undervalued they are being in terms of what they are sharing to the other person. And that's where the value addition part, the awareness part, the market linkage part has its role to play. So as a next step, I would like to invite somebody who is in some sense trying to play that role from a private perspective. Uh, Sri Sanjeev Arora, as I mentioned, he's an entrepreneur and exporter of minor forest produce. Uh, he has a, a company called Sai Agro Exit. And I would like him to focus on the challenges, what are the next phase to the entrepreneurs who are focusing on this area and the required intervention from his perspective, from the entrepreneur's perspective that we will do. Good afternoon, requested guests, scholars and experts who have gathered here to discuss all the minor forest products of Jharkhand. I, Sanjeev Arora, the director of Mrs. I Agrivest in Private Limited. For honor to represent Jharkhand. Jharkhand is India ke pure 25% forest product available hai. Is ke, uh, Jharkhand ke natural beauty or medicine herbs ke liye nahi, balki non non limited uh, MR, uh, MR, uh, minor forest product ke liye tasdik hai. Jharkhand mein exporter ka spirit sadhe ye bhi raha hai ki ye product ko global market mein export kare. But yahan the government is going to ऐसे करने के लिए सहायता की आवश्यकता है इसके लिए जो चैलेंजेस एक्सपोर्टर फेस करते हैं वो इस प्रकार है पहला है एक्सेस टू मार्केट Well, uh, the entrepreneurial spirits of the entrepreneurs and exporters in Jharkhand have always been to export the minor forest produce uh, in several countries.